so we're live copies. Okay, well, let's, we'll just go ahead and get the meeting started. Anybody else from us? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Call the meeting to order at 632. <coughs> Do a roll call, Mr. Dunbar. Tom Ahern. Here. Ken Dunbar. Here. Mark Garber. Here. John Locke. <coughs> John is top. Oh, he is? Yes. Yeah, Ken Riley. Hey, you. John Terrace. Yep. Steve Weaver. Here. Kurt Martyr. Absent. Bart Dunsmore. Absent. All right. Uh, adoption or amendment of agenda. I do want to make an, uh, an amendment of the agenda for tonight. Um, everybody should have got a rewrite on the pack. It's either in your folder or you got a new copy. Um, I want to move this up as new business. It should only take a couple minutes to go through the bullet points for the master plan. It's something we've been sitting on for two years since we started this planning commission. So we need to get through this and make sure this gets done. And then we can move on from there. Do I hear? Oh, so I make a motion. Uh, second that. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 All what opposed? No, I'm not opposed. But what exactly was the motion? I'm sorry. Motion to move uh, the bullet points from the master plan from old business and move it up to new business as the uh, first item of business for tonight on the meeting. Oh, OK. All right. So all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? All right, motion carried. We've got a minute to go through. Do we have the meeting minutes in here from the uh, last? Yeah, so third page in content is packed. Third page in is our, is our uh, yes. meetings from last, last meeting. Minutes. Yes. There's one correction. I put Kate Dunsmore instead of Kate Dunbar in there. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is the special meeting here. The one that you wrote up. Yeah. And you spelled Riley wrong. Okay, how do I spell it? R E I L L Y. We're the only right he says for the trade channel, the mother told me last year. And there's no S for my spring. Yeah, there's no S on my name. And no O. No O. Okay. <laughs> yeah, O. Did we, uh, did we uh, excuse the absences? <clears throat> Oh, make a motion to excuse the absences. No, we did. Yeah, we did. Oh, today. Today. Yeah. All right. So, so quick, quick, quick. okay, make a motion to excuse the absences. Second. All right. All in favor. Aye. 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 All opposed. All right. Motion carried. Sorry about that, Mr. Bungar. <coughs> all right. So let's see here. So far, we have a correction to. Uh, let's see here. Mr. Riley's last name. R e i l l y. And then Dunsmore, it should be Dunbar. And instead of Aherns, it's Ahern. No. Okay, getting close. No S. I check my name. <laughs> I, I, I just called you Tara at first, so I, yeah, you got, you got your. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, <laughs> you got your fair share. Cool. I don't feel left out. No. Is there anything else that you had on that? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so wherever you see Aherns, um, Ahern, like Kroger, not Kroger. Gotcha. So maybe I'll have to call Morris, believe me. All right. All right, motion to adopt uh, last meeting's minutes with the corrections. I'll move. Uh, all right, I'll move. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? All right, motion carried. Who seconded that? Mr. Weaver. Citizens' comments regarding the agenda non-agenda items. Um, do we have any citizens here today? 
but I did bring my son, Brad Ahern. Um, okay, into, so I was say, yeah, we got a guy here. Yeah, that's my, that's my son. <laughs> All right, this is John Taurus. How you doing? That's my nice son. Nice um, reason I brought Brad in is one, so we can see how the, how the planning commission goes. Yeah. He does have a degree. Uh, in regards to civil construction, construction, thank you. Uh, but also too, is he? Uh, I know er Eric, Mr. Schneider, Eric. He's potted out. Oh, <laughs> he is potted out. <laughs> hey, bro, remember I told you I was going to have Brad go over and check out that uh, the gazebo down there in Richmond? Yes. All right, I had him uh, check it out. He's just got a few words on it, and I figured this would be a good time when he was learning okay. on that. So I stopped over there, wasn't able to meet with the owner. I can tomorrow when he's in. Um, he says in order to take it apart, it might affect the structural integrity of it. Um, can't necessarily tell how it is constructed, but I do know that it's roughly 12 feet tall and 12 by 16 square. So to the top of the peak? To the top of the peak. I was able to, they had a table inside, I was able to measure from the table to the top of that and then okay. the table that. Um, it's got the standing, it's got the corrugated metal barn siding roof on it. Um, like I said, it's got, it's wrapped in a PVC one by material instead of wood. Right. Um, and then it's got the like PVC column wraps around it, mm -hmm. which I'm assuming are covering six by sixes. Okay. How that is all by, I think they're eight by eight. Eight by eight, yeah. Seven and a half by Yeah, something like that. They're bigger than four by fours. Um, unknown how they're attached to the roof. They said they moved it a couple times, but they constructed it on site. Right. So it in order to tear it apart, it might take a little bit of time. They recommended doing the whole low boy idea and it almost sounded like the owner was willing to drive around and take a look and see what path would be the easiest to get it here with leaving it as it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he recommended putting um, like four by fours, un like lifting it up, putting four by fours under the post to keep everything in one spot and doing it that way. Um, my thought on kind of the whole deal is in order to keep the height down, because I, I know semis get underneath everything, obviously, along M19 and they're about 13, six tall, right. and if this is 12 foot, how high a low boy is, not sure, but my thought on the whole thing is straddling the gazebo over the low boy so it hangs off the sides of it and lower to the ground. Okay. I don't know if they are allowed to do that, per se, but that would at least help keep the height down a little bit on the way back. But otherwise, with the being 12 feet wide, I'm assuming once we get out of downtown Richmond, we should be fine to straddle the shoulder. But I'm, after that, that's uh, up in the air. It's just being on which way is the easiest way for everything to go. If we have, if you guys have someone that wants to take time to take it down and do it that way, possibly could and rebuild it, but it's, like I said, I don't know how they have it underneath all of that PVC, so. Okay. I was thinking just cut the legs off of it and leave it like a foot long mm -hmm. and then get rid of the piece that's in between the start of the plastic and where you cut it Right. and take that right out and then shorten the whole thing by that much so it'll only be like nine feet off the ground when it's over here Right. and then just put the thing flat on the trailer and <clears throat> do like you said, put the blocks so the, um, they straddle the, yeah. the, the low boy. This was just I, I, don't, I don't know either, but right. I, I'm just thinking that way you could just cut off like half of a post and then right. half of a post and half of a post and then you could put them together and bolt them together maybe sitting on. Theoretically you could, I mean, theoretically we could even do something similar to that where we take the, because uh, like I said, it's just got like the PVC power. So are you volunteering? Maybe. Okay, good. <laughs> well, because we got a crane. Okay. We have a crane. We have Mike's crane. Okay. Um, he has a low boy. Nice. Uh, I would say just, um, I, I told him I would just bring a chainsaw and just cut the whole thing right off yeah. and just figure out how to put it on the trailer, hang it off the side, right, and just go. Yeah, you know? we could do that too. I mean, it, like your, your idea because isn't... It, there's, it's so tall, it doesn't need to be that tall where it's going because it's right. going over by the, the... Well, and even theoretically, with 
thinking of your idea is if, if it has the column wraps around it, just cut those completely off, and like you said, we'll cut just cut straight cut the the four by fours or six by six or whatever they are. Yeah. Straight cut them to get it low enough, and then you can what you can do in order in order to put it back up to whatever height you want is you make essentially a like imagine you have it you know flat cut like this, but you come this is and you cut it across up and then free go over so you can bolt through. And you have essentially two wedges sitting on top of each other, staggered seam. Okay. So that way you can just bolt right through it, and then put whatever you want back around it. You want to put it wrap back around it, wrap back around it, or just leave it. Why well, would you just put the sleeves back on there? Yeah, because it'd be shorter. Right. Yeah. Cool. Good. Yes. So, awesome. um, end of the month is so when we're going to do it. Okay. What um, do you know? A day? No, like I don't weekend, know a day. Or? <clears throat> We won't know until it gets closer because okay. in order to have Mike's crane in the, in the trailer. Right. Yeah, I'll give you, I think you have Eric, if you have Eric's number, if not, you know. We'll Maybe. I just know I have something I got doing on the 26th, so. Okay, cool. All right. Well, Good then. analysis. Thank you. Appreciate it. Good mm -hmm. news. Yeah, thank you. Good news. Welcome. Hearing. Thank you very much for your time. All right, moving on. Any other communications? We get any special letters, anything like that? Um, we already know about. Uh, Riley Township is going to be submitting their master plan for our city, for City of Memphis, to review and making corrections uh, so they can move on from there. The letters at they didn't send me one. I, I emailed everybody there. I just wanted to look at it for the heck of it. Right. Yeah, because all I said, all they sent me was that all they sent me was the letter to the planning commission yeah. in regards to the same thing. Um, we'll do when we get there. But yeah, when we get that far, that's why I want to get through with the. They would have shot me one. I just out of curiosity, but. All right, moving on. Section G, new business. Okay, this content is packed that everybody got. It's either in a short form or um, I got the long form here. It's just a couple bullet points. I'm going to go through it real quick. It'll only take a couple minutes. Uh, get a vote on it. Hey, did you get one, Bart? Did you get one of these? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. You get your all set then. So that's on. Uh, Page four, is that the overview? Is there anything on that, Mr. Weaver? Or three. Yeah, the bullet points pick up on you know, the third page into the content this pack. This one. Yeah, you had the overview. Yeah. I didn't know if you wanted to touch anything. Yeah, and then on the, uh, um, no, not particularly. I mean, okay. for you to read, that was just for okay. information's sake. All right, we'll go uh, move it on right to the fourth page, which is uh, from page 15, current match plan. It's the 1123 of the updated review. Well, that's just that's just there for you know again reference. Right, that's what I'm saying. We're just going through make sure you know we can refer to those if you want. But yeah, it's just saying that this was this is a new rewrite as as text. Um, is that something that we already updated in the master plan, or is that what we, that's what was approved on page 15? You said you already rewrote that. Well, again, I, I got it covers all go one through one. Let's just go through one through eleven, and then I'll uh, one through eleven. And you got any questions after that? I think that's the easiest way. Where's your one through eleven? Is this in there? It's, it's a special meeting review master plan. It's, like it's in the oh, it's the first. Okay, page four. It's on the same, you know, same page as the minutes. It's also page two, the library, right? Uh, it is. Uh, You're talking um, about the synopsis two. that you wrote up. Yeah, the synopsis. Yeah, we'll just go through that then. That's where. Third page in from content this pack. Give us some of the following. We want to go back. The synopsis. <clears throat> All I right. also added a couple things to you. There was John's thirty through 33. It's one of those separate packs I gave you. So you can just add it to this if you want for text. And then there was uh, 35. Uh, I did I, 35. And I went ahead and did 36, 37, 38, 39 too. That's that second pack I just gave everybody because I just got that done. Right. Those are off drafts for your uh, consideration look at too. Okay. Just so they're cool. Okay, yeah, so the rewrite of page 15 as text. That's Went through that already. Uh, rewrite at page 17. You did that too. Oh, wait a minute. What about the first one? <laughs> Which one? The section one, one, two, and three exists in final draft form. Off of this action item, under action items. I'm trying to determine. Oh, here it is. Draft Does list. section one, two, and three exist in a final draft form? Is the text printable? Can we get copies? The most. Uh, the most final draft form would be the clean copies I've put in the draft. We can change. We can accept all the redlining 
um, so that it's nice and clean. Section one, I believe we skipped because it was a summation of the rest of the sections. Okay. Um, so what, what needs to be done on one then? I mean, do we have text? I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out what have we got done with text right. in each section. I don't care about... Nothing was done to one. Nothing, so number one still needs to be addressed. Yes. Okay, that's a good start. Section two, I believe, is completely done. So you could print out a text draft of section two. Correct. Just a text draft, just, just the words. Oh, you want just the words, not the, all the pictures and everything? Because I've been mm -hmm. updating it into the... Well, eventually, you know, we're going to have to lay this thing out and have it printed, so I don't know how all that's going to fit. I'm just, I would just like to at least review the draft, but if you want to print it up with the charts on there, that's fine. Okay. Doesn't make it, as long as, as, long as the, yeah, the draft is there with the language. I took the PDF of our, of our master draft, I made it a Word document, and I've been editing the master plan as we go. So Good. all the pictures are still there. That being said, when we are complete, if we want to change the pictures yeah. and stuff, it will probably be a totally new document. Yeah. But yeah. as is, it is in a presentable version that is very comparable to ours. And all those documents that I gave you guys are also just, they're all separate Word documents. So mm -hmm. that we can move them around, they're not all run together. Each page is a separate, not that it'll necessarily end up on page 19. Right, right. Again, right. all right, that'll work so you can produce Section two for us. Section two, I can print off, bring to the next meeting. Okay, um, and we'll look over that. I don't think we've ever really formally adopted that, have we, anybody? We were kind of accepting all the changes as they got presented. It was very confusing. Mm -hmm. and, well, we can like, formally adopt it. Yeah. Um, and we, everybody's read it at the same time. And, and then I think there's some changes that have been made to section three. Um, that's what the pages seven, 15, 17, 19, 20, they're in section three, right? They may be. Or 17, 19, 20, 21, I believe those are all in section three. Okay, so um, those, uh, right, yeah, those are coming up. 17, 19, and 20. Yes. And the, the draft I typed up today, I used your 17, 19, 20, and 21, okay. and it okay, is good. in there, so that could also be printed. Okay. So if, if we have no other changes to that, section three is done in a final draft form as well. And I think we did formally accept those pages. I believe they were formally accepted. Yes. So that means section three is printable. Uh, yes, I can rough draft for a rough draft. Yeah, um, and the, so you can see this is the red lining. So we could, if right. we ever wanted to review it, we yeah. could. But when I when I print it, I can hide all of the red lined. Okay, so, so perfect. It'll be nice and clear. Yeah, let's do let's do that. That yeah, way, that good. way, coming up uh, at the next meeting, we'll have a rough draft as far as these pages that we've already made changes and accepted changes. So do we just want section two and three printed off as is for the next meeting? Sure. Okay. And then section one still needs to be addressed. Yes, I think we said we were going to do that at the end because, like I okay. said, I think it's a summation of you're going to read this and this and stuff. I, if I, I right, summation of the following pages. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, fifteen type yeah, of yeah, all that. Yeah. Stuff. yeah. Page uh, okay. page previously accepted by motion and vote, so we have that. That's good. All right, good. All right, 17 requires acreage and percentage of land it represents for various zoning categories. And it says here that we can figure, these figures can be included in section seven of the zoning plans. And you said you're gonna work with Amber to ascertain those figures. So. Yes, uh, so down the road, we haven't done section seven yet, so we could actually let two stand, but I do want to get accurate acreage and percentages. Uh, Amber gave me some figures today for vacant land. Awesome. And we almost got 300 acres vacant, which is, some of it's taxable, some of it's city, whatever, but every single piece of property, so we, we have that, but I'm gonna do that with each one, and since we haven't done seven yet, I, I don't wanna just dump the truck on her either. Right. But all seven zones will do that, but when we, you know, if you're turning the master plan on the actual zoning section, that'd be a good place to put all those details. If somebody really wants to go into it more over two, is just more of a, uh, an overview, so. Right. That's kind of what I had in mind with that. Awesome. All right, page 18. I'm wanting days. to keep that as an action item then. Uh, page 17 is no, an action. I, I think we're good with that. All we got to do is just update the numbers on it for the acreage. Well, I, just, I just meant as a reminder for when we finally get to that place. Yeah, the, the updated out. numbers will go on section 7, though. Okay. So I would you know, actually call that you know, complete okay. for, for draft. Item number four, page 18, going with the existing numbers now. 
Um, I said you're going to tally and verify by adding relevant parcel numbers and update as necessary. So that's yeah, and that, a lot of that's the Central Business District, and there's a couple of conflicting maps for that. So okay. about five blocks. Where I'm gonna, there's about 40 parcels all together. So I'll get a readout on every parcel, so we'll get get that exact figure. So that one, you know, we'll have to have that um, updated and, and verified. But again, I'll work with it with Amber on that. But that remains to be done. And it's here, page 19 and 20 and 21 completes draft accepted by both commission. So we have those in the packet here. Yep. Let's make sure I we make those couple, update. Yeah, I made a couple of changes grammatically on, Grammatic. on those pages. So it's just grammatic okay. changes. Okay. Just nothing major, but there were a couple of more things. editing, the better. Yeah, Absolutely. I just, I'm not a very great, good typist. You know, how, how long did it took us the other day to do it? All right, so item five is done. We just got a, a couple go of typos. Do we want to go over what those changes are? If you have a mark bar, I got them on my computer. I'll I'll update your. Changes. I have yeah, I have them. I have them marked. Okay, if you if you want, that might be the easiest thing, and I'll bring you updated once because I got the documents on the computer. Okay. And when we're done doing all this, I'll give you or you all those word documents, and you can put them in the, the appropriate place on the. Uh, I'm still a little. Thumbs on with that, but I put them on oh, the flash yeah, drive, and everything that's here is, you know, we can put on the, the web. So we might as well, because eventually we're going to get a draft. We're going to get a final. We're going to get a final draft, so, and then we're going to review the final draft. Right, but you know, might as well make the changes. Oh yeah, no. just a few changes. Yeah, no, that's perfect. Thank you, Barb. I appreciate that. Yeah, because once we get the final draft, and we're going to we have to submit it to, I think, what Riley Township in Wales and. Oh, we got to submit it to the council first. Oh, council first and then get it submitted. Have a couple people independently read it. Okay. All right. Item number six, section four. All right. I did a draft on that that is actually um, on in Dropbox. So you want to print that up for next meeting. Um, I sat there and rewrote those sections. Actually, Mr. Weaver and I did that uh, the day after the city council meeting. And they weren't red lines, that's why I didn't see them, right? Right. Okay. I, ju I just I just wrote it up. That makes sense. I guess we have the original, so I just <coughs> cleared and typed and made adjustments to it. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You just you did you did what you did. I literally did it right there in the Word yeah, document, document and saved document. another yeah. copy. Okay. So. Yeah. We can yeah, we can print that up as well. I made some changes on twenty on that infrastructure page on this page. It's more? more like just. I'm really. I went to Catholic school for 12 years. I'm really I'm thinking about. Is that page 23 and 24, the one that? Uh, yeah. I did have a couple hard copies, so Barb might have got one off. I had it distributed evenly. I just got so many packs going on. But, it was a, oh. just a couple of changes. And then what's this one? 28. Well, let's stick to 23, 24. Yeah, let's keep, yeah, let's, yeah. Uh, 23, so, 24, 25, and 26. So we have some changes on those pages or some typos? I have 23 and 24 that changes. Okay. And then, um, okay. are these changes on 20, your version or the original version? I don't that's, have, that's the version we do. I don't have, oh, well, you know what, yeah, I don't, I don't have, have 25 and 26. Because we might have done some live. Let's, have, we'll, we'll have to look at that. And then I have 28. I have a change yeah, on page 35. And then I have the hard copy of section, I did an entire section four. Mm -hmm. And this is what uh, <coughs> Councilman Weaver um, brought up. And then we sat here and we actually went word for word and, and typed it in and adjusted it. So the, the corrections that um, Barbara's looking at, then we'll submit her corrections onto it. And so we need to see all those in one place. All these in one place. So we're going to look at it again. I don't know what version we're looking at. Just to make sure we don't get confused. This is the version that you and I typed up yeah. Wednesday all night. All, all four of those pages? It says 23 and 24, and then we went through 25 and 26. So we need 23, 4, 5, and 6. Right. In the so rough draft. Just in, yeah, in the rough draft, which is on text. Which is on the... Uh, the 4.1 version? Uh, the 4.1 version has... 23 through 26. And the entire section four was retyped. Okay. So we all got you to copy that. We'll right, copy, copy of that, and we'll double check on that, yeah, and we'll review that, that next right meeting. That was Make sure everybody's good with it. We'll take what we did later. That's fine. That's okay. okay. So you'll pick them up. Good. All right, good. All right. Everybody's doing homework. Love it. Page 27, analyze uh, central business district boundaries. 
Well, I just spoke to that. You know, I'm okay. so five blocks going to add up 40 parcels of land, and that's all. Get those figures exact. Awesome. Again, that can go in section seven. Section five, 28 and 29. Did we do that on Wednesday night, or we just? I think we just ended up with 26. Uh, I think that is in this pack here. It is in the packet. Uh, Rewrite a 28 and 29. Uh, or is it? I just is it one thing to give you? I have it. I it's have right it here. here. It's in the packet that you gave us. Today. Today. This is the okay. packet that you gave us. Yes. Yeah, that needs to be gone over. Everybody can look at that. Oh, okay. But the one I'm looking at maybe is the, a different one. This one here, Mark. It has the date of April 10th on in the corner. It's the back. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We just have a few little minor questions. Okay, good. If you want them later, no. no, sure. All right, just 28. No, from yeah, well, that's 35. Obviously. No, 35, I don't have any. Somebody okay. already made it. Mean, after we make all the corrections in the master plan, we'll just give it to Ms. Garber <coughs> to go through the entire master plan. And well, we all should be doing but Barb's very good at it. So. Oh, I know. She's a, yeah. But I mean, we all should at least be reading it so we can vote on it. But that's good. All right. I'll do those. Thank you, Barb, again. All right. So that's 28 29. Right, 28 29 doing the. That. Okay. That's section five, so that's one that we did a rewrite on. Do we want to breeze through that or do we want to no, uh, that's, come, uh, come up with our what our we correct? Got, got to read it. Yeah, everybody's homework assignment then is to read these, uh, these what rewrites. Number, what number are we on? We're on section five. We will, will rewrite pages 28. What 29. number? A lot of those. Eight. Number eight. Oh, at eight. Okay. And yeah. Section eight. Yeah, those are. Uh, so everybody got those, everybody's able to look at them. We just need to update. Right, go through, we'll update it if you see any changes. And I'll do that for our series changes. So I will do that and uh, okay. hand them out next, next meeting. Awesome, beautiful, beautiful. All right, moving on to item number nine, section five. Uh, let's see here, John Terrace will produce a draft of 30 and 33. Uh, we have that submitted. I think he, he submitted Yeah, I typed those up, John. Uh, yeah. We'll have to look, you know, read through them. Action, no action today, but just look, over, look it over. Look it over. And then now that we have them, we got the rewrites, we can. That is corrections, deletions, whatever. Correct. Please. So that's homework until next meeting. And that's 33 to 33. All right, section 10, page 35. Well, that's, you already have that. We're going to go back to it. 35. So that's the second pack I gave you guys. I just went, took the liberty yeah. and went ahead and did 36, 37, 38, 39, I think. So again, just to read them, see if you want to do anything with them. Homework. Correct them. Yeah, everybody go through the, the packet that we have here. Go through these pages, make sure there's no corrections that we need to make or add. Deletion, please. And then so we're going to review section. This is your item number 11. Review section 7 and 8 for action motion. Just a quick uh, discussion how we want to do that. 7 is the actual zoning thing, so that's kind of a work in progress. I've got to get these factors. It's also got some of the old code book numbers on it, so they got to be synced up. Um, I'm, I, I'll be happy to work on that. You know, down the road just a little bit, unless somebody else wants to. What do you want to get together on another day somewhere and we'll go over it? Like on an evening? Sure. If you, if you volunteer, yes, that makes it much easier. Yeah, because then we'll just go through it together, go through the zoning. Yeah, you got to get the regular Memphis Code book. It's like that first page that we did, you know, whenever. I think it was page 44 where they had right. 1979 Code book. And, yeah, all right, Tom, we'll get together and do a little subcommittee meeting or something. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Number eight is uh, the impl implementation, or no, the... Uh, uh, Want me to bring it up? I can bring it up. No, time. it's not necessary. It is... What's the call here? And I actually, I sketched this out and did a presentation for everybody. Again, it was a long time ago. And I have all that, and I would just... It's going to be... It's, that's not going to be that hard to do. Um, implementation matrix. And that's that at the very end of the plan. We got you know, all these charts in here. Mm -hmm. Well, I, 
I already got that all done. Let me just throw them out here and show you guys what they do. It's just a matter of changing some of these things to different statuses so it shows that we are, and we are legitimately doing something from you know three categories, long, short, long, or ongoing. So it's just a matter of going through that and then off of that list later on, you know, during the, our business down the road, we can actually use that as a, a guide to work on a few different issues, but okay. we definitely should update them. That way we have updated it. And we can probably just use this whole same chart, but we just have to look over in language and I can do that in a few minutes. So that, that's section seven and eight. Seven, we'll, we'll do, so if we get that done. Yeah, we can then, do that. Uh, yeah, let me put, dig out that presentation for eight. And then theoretically we get Number one, section number one, and we had one other one, I think. On Maybe both just points, one. it just says we sit, review section seven and eight for action, and you also had a rewrite of page 44. <clears throat> that was done already. Yeah, we that accepted is, the change on that. Yes, and, and city council adopted that language. Okay. So when we get to that for the master plan where that is, we're going to put the exact same language in the master plan. Actually, it was C1. Central Business District and Light Industrial. That right. page is done. We're changed the again, the, bringing the code up to date. So that, that last page, I think I put that in the last page. That was uh, well, again a reference point for you. It's so long ago. I don't know where you probably got yeah, that's why I'm trying to. That's why I wanted to do this refresher so we can see where we are sitting on this. Uh, yes. Oh, and the vehicle. Let me mention that while I'm looking at. It. We have a in our code book. We got one five six point zero. Uh, let me see, 5.5, 5. 150.055, that is C1R1A in the code book, in the Memphis code book, and then we have 150.056, it just says reserved. Now that was rever reserved, I think, which is fine, we leave it in there for, they were toying around with creating a commercial vehicular C2 zoning. Uh, that is in the master plan. So we either got to can it, <laughs> X that language out of the master plan. I don't think we really need it right now, my own quick opinion, so that uh, we don't even have it in there. Because we don't want, so I want to build a shopping center. It says right here C2 is going to do that, and you don't have any place zoned that way because we would have to designate a zoning area for it. Right. right. I, I think it's more complications that we need to take on, but just so that you're aware. Uh, and we could fix that. By striking the language in the master plan. Right. Yes. We can vote on that now. Yeah. I make a motion to uh, strike that C2 out of the master plan. I will design that motion. Okay, all in favor? Aye. All right. So Aye. striking C2 from the master plan. Striking C2 from the master plan. We really don't have the, I mean, it's, we're not the biggest city. Yeah. Where are they going to put them? Oh, yeah, we don't need it. Yeah. We don't need a Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, everybody needs a Walmart. That's, that's the next no, generation no, 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 worry about no, no, that no. if it gets that bad out here. And so I should say. We'll do a vote on it. So all in favor of striking C2 from the master plan? Aye. 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 All opposed? <laughs> all right, motion carries striking C2 from the master plan. That's Solve it. that issue. I know that's one that's been bounced around and kicked around yeah. since we started. Because we got to knock this stuff Yeah, that's the whole reason I want to do this. Just knock it out. Just get it done. All right. Oh, just real quick, we do that second one. One of the first things. Ample pack. That's all just reference material. I, I did this like right before I got off mm -hmm. this chair. Just to very, tell you guys what I had done and some of the people I talked to. Okay. Um, some various eyeballs. So if, I, if we get stuck in a place, I might just refer to this and look back at a page so you all have a copy so I don't have to go, you know, reinvent the wheel on it. Okay. So it's just a reference uh, thing in case we need it. Do we, do we ever scan this and put this in the Dropbox? This? A reference? Yes, this reference material. I don't believe I was ever given this. You can okay. scan it and put it in there. Please. Yeah. Let's put that in there so at least we have a, a digital copy of it. So that's great. You can just scan documents and we'll throw it in there. Can yeah, you, can you edit them too? Um, you yes. Scan? No, once it's scanned in. I was going to say, I, could, I might be able to ch change it to a Word document, yeah. but. I was just curious. You know, that's yeah. pretty slick if you could. Yeah, there's programs. If we scan it in as a PDF Word. and then we can make it either an editable PV, PDF or uh, an editable Word document. Stuff. Oh, Blimey, you saw me sitting here the other day. 
well, you know, I'm trying to do these three, these pages. Like I'm going through. If you if you take a look at the four one that I did with uh, with Mr. Weaver, <coughs> you'll see that the little page number is kind of like off. You know, because I was trying to move. They had one, I think, 23 split between 23 and 24. It was two sentences. So once I rewrote it. There's a couple it, confusing parts of the master plan like that. Yeah, and I moved it, and, my, and, and like it moved the ad, it moved the names of the streets off the. Right. I had that same thing happen with me. So, I, I mean, I'm okay with Word documents, but it's not my, it's, you know, I mean, really once we have a strong a point. Clean, <clears> once we have a clean, draft, rough draft, then we can. Format however we want. Yeah. Please. I think, I think getting some new photos would be nice. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm all for that. I think we all should just take pictures. Like everything, oh, every and photo. We should build a file, you know, just so we can, go through, we can just pick yeah. photos. That's the whole purpose yeah. of Dropbox, if we get enough photos, yeah. everybody has either, you know, well, all the photos are saved down. as a JPEG in some way. Well, we can format it to a JPEG. Pull so them up, drag and drop them. And yeah. Uh, format just it. submit them to. We're close to that. Yeah, yeah I'm definitely up for more photographs. It looks like the zombie apocalypse, except no, no person in like any of the things. None. <laughs> right. It's, no. it's horrible. You can't find. No, you cannot find a picture of one. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, well, we we could dress, dress up in the nineteen, you know, from the nineteen thirties or something. And I mean, you didn't stand outside. We didn't get a single photo from McDuck days or anything. No. Uh, I wonder if there might be, I don't know, we can put, we can, uh, on the City of Memphis uh, Facebook page, see if anybody has any photos. Yeah. No, yeah. that's too many. I think we'll all come up with enough for us. Okay. Yeah. Hey, it's just a thought. Yeah. That's all. That's all. all right. I'm just talking out loud, too. So, okay, we'll go with that. We're going to uh, make a motion for the, con uh, the packet content. Uh, everybody do the homework on that. What's the motion? I um, to accept the packet as text uh, for review and a rewrite on the master plan. I don't think we need well, to. Know. We'll just leave it. Okay. Hey, we're still, we're still, still it better be safe. Sorry, we're still, we're still that big umbrella of reviewing master plan. Yeah. Okay. okay. So the old business, we're all we're just reviewing. That's just yeah. bullet points and stuff to do. All right. So everybody has homework on those pages. Double check any typos. If you want to add or delete, um, just make the notes on it. And we'll follow up at the next meeting with everybody's corrections. All right. Sound good? Yeah. yeah. All right. Moving on, new business. It says here, let's say we need to generate a date for Mel, our building inspector, to meet with the planning commission and go over a ton of any ordinance. Do we have anything on that? I didn't move anywhere on that. I don't think it should be back in town anytime, from my understanding. Yeah. I think it would be beneficial to have that meeting prior to next month's regularly scheduled meeting. All right. Anybody um, opposed to having a? He said he's gonna be back what next week? Sometime soon, I don't remember. But last time I heard he's gonna be back in town a week. That was probably days ago. So, so let's say the tenth, and what's two? What's two weeks from now? Well, someone got to set up a meeting. Any volunteers? If I, you want to set it up, Ken, or just call Mel and ask him if he can. Yeah. Yes. One. Yeah. And whatever day, a regular meeting, whatever you. Yeah, yeah, I can I can talk to him and then we can want to touch schedule base a special him. meeting for whatever evening night works best for him. I'll try for the twenty fourth, which is two weeks from tonight. But all right, if not, if he if he has right. something sooner, that's fine too. Um, I'm open. That, I anybody mean, else open? Everybody else good with that? Yeah, I can try. I personally mm -hmm. won't be around for the last. We next could next try time. for next. We could try for the seventeenth next week. Yeah, I won't be around for the last okay. half of the month. Okay, so the 17th will we be We can better. probably get a quorum. If you're not going to be on the 24th, just 24th. make sure. Yeah, yeah make sure. Have Ken and Mark show up if we need them. Yeah. You're going to be in town? Mark? Yeah, the 24th. 24th, okay. Yeah, that should be fine. Tentatively, then that works. Okay. Does next week work if he can't do the 24th? Mm. That's fine with me. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm open all week. Yeah. I'll try for the 24th. If not, okay. the alternative will be. The twenty fourth, yes. Okay. Seventeenth, ten, and seventeenth, if not the twenty fourth. Yes. As long as we have a quorum, that's what I need. Oh, good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So let's move on. To item number two: to generate a list of concerns and recommendations for city council review regarding the condominium ordinance as written. In that regards to the height. Yeah, the only thing, that's the only thing that I had. Uh, I didn't know if Ken had all the stuff he wanted to add on, but for sure. And I got, I typed this up to pass the city council, but it needs everybody's approval. 
from the Memphis Planning Commission. We'll talk about our course uh, to the Memphis City Council. Planning Commission, this is you know my, my motion, I guess if you want to call that, that recommends the city. I won't even do that because I'm you know one of you guys can if you want. But the language would be the Planning Commission recommends the City Council that section 150.059 of the Memphis City Code be amended by allowing 30 foot height maximum of structures in RM zoning, residential multiple. That's I think we'll get it done. It keeps it away from that condominium narrowness. Yep. Um, I think it, it would just be, I think it's the bulk density. Is that the, that's the? Yeah, that's that's the section it is. We're list, just the charts. Just the charts. We update that, say right. 30 feet. That's, that's the section uh, 150.059. Um, I, I can give this to uh, uh, Donna to put in our city council pack. So the council will get it next regular council meeting. Nice. We just need a motion. Now if there's, uh, yeah, yeah, got a motion around. to amend. Uh, uh, let me see that writing there. So at least I have it, you know, a little bit more. What you're saying. <coughs> okay, so I make a motion from the Memphis City or Memphis Planning Commission uh, recommend to City Council that section 150.059 of the Memphis City Code be amended by yeah, allowing a 30 foot okay. height maximum of structures. In RM zoning, residential multiple. Do I hear a second on that? What's All right, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All Aye. opposed? Why don't you pass it now? Do we want to give more consideration to other? Yeah, anything you want. Um, but let's just, I want to at least have that separated out. I mean, if there's anything else, any other, anybody wants to make a motion regarding something that I think the city council. I, I think the the road widths that we've talked about, I think that's a typo. That that, that could be fixed, I think. The 51 and 56 feet, I I don't know what we okay. would necessarily want to make them. If we want to make them 31 and 36 or <clears throat> or what, but I definitely think that was a typo. We want to make it 31 and a half just to be in the middle. 31 and a half. Um, <laughs> is, that, is that in your, um, we have here? Because right now, that right there, that is just for the height. Yeah, right. Yeah, so that, that, that we got the motion passed. We get a motion pass on that? All in yes, favor? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Beautiful. And I mean, we don't necessarily have to make other recommendations today, but the, this we can definitely cross off the list. You know what? Maybe we can wait until we talk to Mel. Yeah, yeah, I would, I would suggest that. I think that would be a better idea. We have that now. If we have Mel here, this was strictly just for the for the heights to, to, to move it to 30 feet. But I think the other uh, the other um, concerns that we have in regard to the uh, condos mm -hmm. is definitely let's have Mel in here express our concerns. Yeah, and allow him to have Mel with any questions we have. Then right, I think that would be a smart idea. That way we cover the basis. And then we can make our recommendations from there to the city council and make our amendments. Are we removing our recommendation then? For the 30 feet? No, we're sticking no. with that okay. one. We're just we're submitting that, submitting other ones. Strip, right, all the other. Right. We'll Sound good? Yes. And I see that you have your summation here, Mr. Dunbar. So um, this is something definitely we can bring up when you meet with Mel, the, your summations. Okay, good. All right. I mean, I think that's a good idea. That way, any if there are typos, um, you know, allows them to consider it and look at it. And, and, and I do really appreciate the highlight. It makes it a lot easier. Yeah. It gives you your bullet points that you need. Yeah. Thank you very much. I love that yellow highlighter. Yes, um, I love yellow highlighters. Yeah, and I mean, I don't know if if we want to consider a different zoning district. Um, I think that might be the solution. If I was if my Assuming my assertions are correct, I'm, I won't just say that they are, because obviously I'm not in construction or anything like that. Um, but if those are correct, I think it would the next step, if we wanted to um, come closer to what the developer is proposing, <coughs> is just a new zoning district or amend our zoning district to have an RMA. Uh, RMA. Res I, resident, I, residential. Uh, I've seen a few other. Advanced. I've seen a few other municipalities have two different. There's not the problem with it. Like I said, uh, I showed low rise and high rise uh, residential multiples and stuff. So we can definitely 
uh, take a look at that. Um, That's why I brought up that aerial view, like I said, of Sterling Heights where I used to live. That small plat of land, when those are, they are houses, but they rezone it to make them detachable, detached condominiums. Right. But they're 13 foot, 1300 square foot residential homes with a basement and all the amenities, but it was rezoned to make it a detached condominium in that small little area. Yeah. Because they couldn't build a house, you know. They were shoved in there. That's what I said, they were shoved in there. Where? Yeah. Saw and Canal. Or Canal saw and Saw, that little itty bitty, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> that was actually rezoned so those can be built. I believe it. And they built it to code. So, there's always a possibility. All right. So, we're going to have a uh, forward uh, summation with our building inspector. And make a meeting of that. All right. Don't need a motion on that. Moving on. Review chapter 93, Animals of the Code of Ordinance. Okay, so where did this pop up from? I know somebody said something about chickens. Yes, at the, yeah. the beginning of last month, we talked about uh, the citizens wanting chickens allowed. Um, we motioned to put it on the agenda for this meeting. Awesome. Do we have that Code of Ordinance in here? Um, it is in the drive, but it is not. I didn't print physical copies. Okay. It's in the drive, so you're going to drive me. Or the drop. It's in the drop box. All right, so where's the number? Is it under? It's meeting packet documents. Why? Well, right. the... This one? Uh, no. Uh, oh, wait, that is the folder, yes. This one or this one? Down. I'll scroll neither. down. It's neither of those, you know. Does it say chickens on it? It says animals, right there, bottom one. Right here, animals? And then this is just the code referencing animals and chickens. Cruelty to animals. Okay, that means don't beat you. Okay. All right, where do you want me to go? Move animals on. excluded? Yeah. Ex oh, uh, that's exotic. Yeah, exotic animals. And they're talking about uh, poisonous poisonous animals. Yeah. Because I looked at that because if I want a snake, you can't have a snake in the city. Yeah, but there isn't there, isn't there excluded normal animals? They was Why are you doing that? Go away. There we go. Sorry. All right, poisoning animals, birds and nests, animal waste, unlawful animals. Is yes. that where we're at? That, that is the one. Yeah, we're not concerned with that right now. That's chapter 93. Well, it says right here. Well, no, it is, yeah. Yeah, no person, firm, or corporation shall keep any horses, cattle, swine, sheep, ponies, goats, rabbits, reptiles, snakes, lizards, and turtles, exotic or wild animals, poultry, poultry. Or, or other animals, and fowl, except for four dogs, four cats within the corporate city limits. So I know there is there is a family that wants to raise chickens. I, I believe as I yeah, there were several there were several that were in inquiring about it. I understand that the city allowed chickens at one time and then they were they were apparently uh, it makes mention of that. If, if you have chickens prior to the effective date of this ordinance, you can submit a application to keep yours. So uh, they, they acknowledge that they... That's, that's what happened many years ago with um, Ann Joanna Saylor's property, the place that just sold on M19 there. Mm -hmm. They had ducks, they had geese, they had ducks, they had chickens, they had everything. And the city went, went after her to try to get rid of them. And what ended up happening was the um, she was farm. she was she was grandfathered in heritage farm because like was right. she okay. was grandfathered in. So you know, if I decide to have chickens, I would have to abide by section ninety three, which is you're not allowed to have them. Right. I know when I moved here in the city in two thousand eighteen, I was looking at chickens being a farming community. I did inquire with the city and the and, um, city said, no, not within the city limits. If I was just outside the city limits, like Kreiderman's, I can have all the livestock I but want. But what is the reason for the no chicken? Because I believe it was other, a nuisance at one time. Yeah, other Or people were having 30, 40, 50 yeah. chickens. So it needs to be, we need the proper verbiage in there right. to state you can yeah, have four or five or six chickens, no roosters, 
Correct. You know, ducks are geese because ducks and geese make a lot of noise, whatever. Chickens are quiet. You know, you got hens, they, you don't even know they're there. And then they got to maintain them on their property. They can't just let them run through the neighborhood. Right, no, right? For, no, for, I, I, no I'm free okay with that. Free, yeah. No free Because they'll be out on the road. Yeah. So do we need to amend that? I have, I have neighbors, we send that to I have neighbors for an amendment? across the street that's got, I don't know how many, like nine, ten. There's mm -hmm. hens and roosters. And they're in my yard. They're in my neighbors. They're all, and, but I'm not, I think they're funny and I think they're really yeah. cute, so I don't say anything. And then two doors down for me on the other side, they've got them. I had my eyes would be shooting them they're, for all because they're, they're in, in the path. flower beds and they're scratching everything they're out and deep landscaping. And so, go you know, I'm just it. saying that yeah. Yeah. they exist here. Right. They do. I had a neighbor on, I had a neighbor on off of Benton that uh, behind. There's a my neighbor there's a that had clandestine what five ducks and a bunch of chickens. Right, wrong, or indifferent, but right. you know. I, yeah, I just think that we need to collectively look at it and rewrite it so that people are allowed to have them and just. So I think right. what the set the bombs are, right? We'll set them right. I, yeah, I, I think that'd be a great idea because there are people that that, that like. Now. Yes. I would think that lot size should have something. You'd have to have yeah, something. You'd have to register them. Or I know for a horse you have to have, and I think it's state guidelines. It's two and a half acres. Well, yeah, I mean, for if, one horse. If I live, if I live, like some of the some of the homes, that, you know, some of the streets here, the houses are really close together. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You, yeah. I, I don't think that. I think I'd be upset if somebody next door to me, if I had a little teeny lot that they they're raising chickens. I don't know. You know, I mean. No, no, that's great. So you want to? So gonna, should we do a think and, tank and come up with well, a, and, right. some site but boundaries? Right. Yeah, as long as it's managed on a small lot, because um, I uh, my father-in-law's office was in Mount Clemens and did a lot of real estate there, and we showed the houses, and they're on a forty by sixty lot. And you go in the backyard, and they got ten chickens. You never even knew they were there. It yeah, because I, I know the city of Warren allows chickens. Yeah, they only they allow hens only, no hens roosters. Don't, hens don't make any noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can't have roosters. They just make eggs. eggs. No, yeah. I mean I can check. I can, I can take the initiative and contact the city of Warren. So and can, see what they're. Well, even Richmond, I think, has a Richmond. A, yeah, a I see chickens. Right. And Armida, it's all online. Is it out online? Everything's online. It's yeah. online. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's yeah. code of ordinance. Yeah. Is sure. Every ordinance from every city's online. Yeah, if we write it up and outline it in a good format right. for everybody, and we now have a code enforcement officer that'll go around. Absolutely. We're going to give them something to do. <laughs> right. I mean, there's so, nothing wrong. Like yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. But that's the honest list. And like I said, if it all goes sour and we decide we don't like it, we have a big barbecue. Why not? In the park. Yeah. I think we need to pay a little attention to detail on the actual structure of the coop. You got to have some sort of run for them. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Chicken wire from overhead because you got hawks. Yeah. No, yeah. And, and the run itself, you got to make it so you can't have. Because if you have chickens, the other downside, I've raised chickens in the UP, you're going to have critters. Mm -hmm. yep. You're going to have skunks, you're going to have raccoons. Right. 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 Not weasels down here, but Boxes. you know, you need to bury a two by four or put uh, chicken wire six Rat inches below. Well, I don't know about rat wall. No, that's what they call it when you bury well, it below, so there's yeah, no digging yeah, animals. I mean, so we should have some specs on, you know, it should be, you don't need a big, like you said, John, you know, you can keep a lot of chickens. Mm -hmm. I never kept more than five or six. That was mm -hmm. plenty for us. Mm -hmm. But uh, we should we should lay that out, some real general specs on, you know, yeah. the hoops got to be ventilated sure. properly yeah. and uh, all that kind of well, stuff. And like me, I, I'm on six acres. So my neighbors wouldn't even know I had chickens, no. and I would right. put them, you know, right. I can make a coop that I can move around my yard even. Yeah, that's pretty right. cool stuff. I yeah. like that concept. Yeah. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, I think we just I mean, yeah, I mean, it's already in here. Yeah. So who it, wants to work on it? The well, language. I guess I'll take it on. Yeah, well, find somebody else's that they got and just read through yeah. it and modify yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I, I was thinking of doing. And share it with all of us, and we can all kind of take a glance. Yeah. Because sure. I mean, right now, so far, together. like the language, you know, where if you want to, I think it's good language there for mm -hmm. if you want to, okay, so I want to have chickens down here. A request has to be made to City Hall and then voted on by council or the planning commission saying, okay, due to your lot size, you are allowed to have two hands. 
and you must have an enclosure of such and such. So yeah, I'll check like, like Mr. Oh, Stein. I see what you're saying that, that they Yeah, instead of just saying, they sure, you can have chickens, to, next show we're going to come down the street and somebody's going to have 20 hens. They have to come to the city. They have to come to the city for an application. Same thing with the bird permit. Yeah. You know, there has to be special consideration. Okay. Like I said, lot size, property size. Right. right. You know, just to say, sure, you can have chickens. Like I said, you're going to end up with, you know, Rhode Island so Red Runner. So we put this on the agenda for our next? For our next regular, regular meeting. I'll put they, a little blast out on the community page to, to let people know that we are going to be discussing that. it. Cool. Please. So that'll give plenty of notice for people who would like to come in and weigh in on yeah. <clears throat> right. That'd be great. Yeah, and then once we make a consider a consideration, then we'll put it up to a public meeting or however we do it to let them know. Well, we make a recommendation to city council, just like we do everything else, that okay. we're recommending that you change that part of the ordinance, allow chickens, then we could append it with whatever details that we think should okay. be included in it. Sure. And then council would Voted up and down, and or you know, I mean, I have our consideration so. it up, and then I can do this around the communities in regards to theirs and actual, you know, storm lines and more, and you know, small. Once that happened, then we'd have to come up with an application for people, which you know, correct help. Or, That's not hard. It's the same thing as I mean, mm -hmm. it would be just like applying for a dog license, I guess you could say. Yeah. City dog tank. Sound good? Yeah. Moving on. That'll give me something to do on my on my slow days at work. Good. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's better than me sitting there and believe me. There's sometimes I just go to the office and I sit and watch YouTube until six thirty and then I leave. All right, moving on. Unfinished business. Review master plan. We already did a little bit on that. I believe we did all of that. Yep, yep, yep. All the way down. Cool. Review and sign ordinance 150.06 for the Memphis City Code of Ordinance. Is that for the 30 foot height? No, that is the sign ordinance for the city. We sign about. ordinance. Do we have that? We were wanting to speak with the right. code enforcement officer right. who is not present tonight. Okay, so can we get a request? Well, Friday, he's, uh, they're having a meeting with him Friday. Okay. Rocky. Okay. Uh, yeah, I apologize. I got sidetracked and I so never what called him. What do you want him? Um, we wanted to know his opinion on the state of the the uh, Those. the intersection here, the flags, yeah. the the temporary flags. His opinion on on those. Just that for, that, for that for the uh, intersection. I believe so. Yeah, and I, well, I mean the, the pot flags, right? The pot flags. Yeah. Well, yeah, the ones. Yeah. It should. The, the all right, pot flags are all the flags. We also have the, the doghouse too that puts flags out. Okay, so I don't know. They, they take all them down. Yeah, those, those, those all those flags. Come down. It was a business. Uh, a lot of flags. What about what about the north side? Yeah, sure. If you can. Okay. So you try to get them to take them down when they close. Pardon me. Oh, he's trying right. to just get them, take them down when they close. So we need to blight. They put them back up when they're open. I want to know. I want to. Uh, I want to understand so right here, know, whether those yeah. are placed so legally. Nuisance or blight committee water from two. And I had hoped that the. I hope had hoped that we could talk to this code, code ordinance. Yeah. Throw in my I got his here. number. I just. Down? What? Let me throw in my two cents here on these flags. Absolutely. Yep. Until it was dispensaries, nobody gave a damn about the flags. If that was a flower shop and an antique store, and those flags had a little rocking chair or maybe a puppy, whatever kind of little dog you got, and some flowers and a bunny, nobody would say a damn thing. It's been said on camera that when you come to town, you see dispensary. So right there, and not as a lawyer, you might be up against the First Amendment. A free speech. Well, you, could, you can't say dispensary. You brought it up on camera. And two, the selective enforcement. Dispensary. You come into town to see dispensary. Which way it goes, I really don't care. But know what you're up against here. Yeah. Because these are the same guys with deep pockets, and you got selective enforcement, maybe First Amendment, and it didn't mean a damn thing to anybody until they said dispensary on them. I, Dog I, house has I, it. I the ice cream shop had them, and they've been going on for a long time. This is the first I've heard of the flags until the dispensary came up. And there's other businesses in town that have them, and it's also been brought up that the sign hanging into from the lawyer's office is hanging over, and that might be affected too, just as something to think of. 
So all these other signs that are hanging into that zone that you want to change, I think you're opening a can of worms and it's a lawsuit that the city's going to lose. Just my thought, my opinion. Yeah. Well, no, that's, that's I, what I'd like for. to throw my two cents worth in here because I'm the one that brought the basically brought this up. I don't care if it said, "Have a good day." I don't care what those flags say. It's a distraction when you have six flags at that intersection. It's a distraction. I, all I wanted to know is if they were placed properly. That's all I wanted to know. I don't care what they say. I don't care what they say. It's a distraction. They're fluttering in there. In, I just think it's a distraction at the intersection. You have kids walking around. You have pedestrians. That's my pro That's my point. I haven't. I don't care if it said. I don't care what it said. It's not the fact that it says dispensary. It doesn't matter what it says. Were you here when the owners showed up? Because we kind of, we did have that, and I agree with all your points too, Ken. Yeah. I'm not and I think talking about it. Where the way it goes, I have no. Nobody really knows. That's why we want. Yeah, to that's why that's we're trying why to figure it out. It's like, and the thing is, if it's if, if if this if this ordinance is changed for one, it's changed for all. Yes, so, and yeah. that, this is not this is not a this is not a selective is, change. This will be if it's if it, if it's for this person, That's it's for everybody down the road. It. But the fact that it was brought up and it's recorded right. that people driving in town see dispensary and think we're doing a you know a pot town. You know, the and dispensary's actually said, said we'll so change it but it just says now open. I have no right. problem with it. And believe it or not, I, I because I drive I've drive five thousand between five and eight thousand miles a month, and I go and I handle all of Southeast Michigan from Can my I job. say something? Absolutely. I think Barb was just trying to ask a question. That's oh, all. yeah. Yeah, that's she what I was thinking. Answer to a question. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you guys can say whatever you want, but let's just get her question answered. Yeah. That's, that's all I wanted. Yeah, that, that's, yeah all that's all. Wanted. So you were just asking in regards to that. I, I, I don't point. care what it says. It has nothing to do with that. Is it just to? In state law, someone who knows what they're doing can look at. And care. First Amendment. Right. Why am I no issue with that? If, it's, no, if, it's, it's, if it's, the flags are not placed legally, if they're placed legally, okay. If they're not placed legally, then they should be moved. I don't care what it says, Ken. But you just want to see that when you came, you should, you so it's just a general question on it. A couple times. The placement, My concern, the, the placement fine. of them. If you want okay. to move, move. I don't care if it's legal to move them, if it's not. But All I want to know is if they're placed legally. It didn't bother anybody until they said dispensary on it. Right, but I think now it's just a fact of what do you mean where their placement is. Anybody? They weren't Regardless. there before. Well, nobody said anything about it. We got the flag, the doghouse has one, the fireworks place has one. There's a couple of them up that and down 19. Number one, that doesn't interfere when you're when you're at the traffic, when you're coming to the traffic light. Number one, number two, are, if if there's if those are placed illegally, then they should be taken down. It, I'm not talking about selective, and please don't throw in this First Amendment crap. Well, you kept saying dispensary, dispensary, and that's I don't I, care. I'm not a lawyer. I'm just saying that's what it's going to look like. like. Yeah. So it's best. That, so what the best thing to do then is just right. check see with the code enforcement officer and see where the stand is on that. If you're talking about too close to the road, too close to the corner, that's traffic. That'd be the police department. I'm not sure what you're talking about. If you're talking about zoning, I'm assuming that the zoning is the same for the buildings on that's what this I'm thinking. Block of Main Street as it is for the buildings on that block of Main Street. As far as close to the road or whatever you're asking, I don't know. But if it's too close to the road, that's traffic. So we should we have traffic enforcement then? Well, I still gotta figure it out. We gotta figure out what the what the what the ordinance is. You gotta know what the as is is. Actually the state says you cannot have anything in the right of way. That's uh, temp or that's not temporary. That you like everything every time you see a placard stapled to the, one of these telephone poles, that's illegal. Yes. Okay? Yeah. So I'm not sure about the flags or whatever, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. Let's just get an answer. You know, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. You guys were talking about this for, for right. a while, man. <laughs> yeah. And all she do is ask a question. Yeah. That's why you're going to have the enforcement guy here. See what he says, you know. 
Yeah, that's well, get his opinion. I'll, I'll ask him Friday. I, I wrote an opinion on the placement of flags at the intersection. Period. See what he says. Works for me. Yeah, are they too close to the right of way or the, the intersection? I'm not even. I'm not even going to see with anything else. All I want to know is the placement of flags intersection. Let's see what he said. Following state that's law. All. That's that's what I. That's basically what I was around about. Trimming the bush, getting out there. We are really good about beating dead horses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no doubt. <laughs> well, Thank you for your opinion, or your question. I mean, that's, I think that's what we've been trying to, we've been beating this and trying to figure out exactly. Well, we got a plan now. We got a plan. Thank goodness. All right, well, if you're going to be meeting with him on Friday, then. Oh, yeah, you can get this question in writing probably Friday. Beautiful. Just Thank you. Forgets it, you know. Appreciate All right, so we got that. Thank you, Mr. Snyder. You're welcome. I love his input. I like direct answers. All right, view condominium ordinance 150, 105 through 150, 126. Are we, is that still something we're gonna work with Mel on? Is, um, I mean, it's on the agenda here, that's what I'm gonna ask. Um, we, we definitely can talk to, I definitely think we need to talk to Mel about that, possibly possibly the attorney if it uh, Mel is unable to answer our questions. Um, I would like to see what the code, what um, the building inspector has to say from what I'm showing here. Um, my, the only reason I included it was I thought if we are unable to discuss, uh, if we're unable to discuss with, with him prior to the meeting, we still have to make a, we still have to advance the project at our next meeting it's still the, the preliminary review meeting and we need to make some sort of decision and I, I, we had talked about not wanting to be bickering about the setbacks and stuff at that meeting and I figured we could give us the opportunity to talk about it if, if we are so inclined if we don't want to talk about it anymore that's that's fine is that what we have that your summation here mm -hmm. Opinions, any thoughts? I'm looking for direction. I have a job. Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm, I'm reading it. Well, I'm hoping Mel will provide, or if not, Mel. I would, I would like Mel's. I mean, he's the building inspector. So, if the kind, mm -hmm. if with his consideration in regards to uh, the um code and ordinance and if he doesn't see I mean I'm gonna take his recommendation on it more or less in regards to it so if he says everything looks good then I think we should move forward I mean that's how that's how I see it yeah I don't have an answer I, really don't I, have I mean I mean, I, mean what kind of, I just something. don't know what kind of answer to give that's the yeah, problem we really need to wait I mean that I mean definitely I mean he I is the code he is the building so inspector the 24th we'll see him and my, and my hope is that we discuss this with him prior to the meeting. I was just, if we are unable to schedule the meeting. Um, I mean, I would, that, that would be the, I, we, because as, if we're kicking it, it around and I mean, we're, we're coming with two different answers, three different answers, or, I mean, they're, 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 they're valid questions, is what I'm saying. I guess if he's unable to make a meeting the 17th or 24th, at the very least we could offer a, extend the invitation to be present at the preliminary review meeting next month. Yeah, whenever, whenever he wants to meet is, is how I see it. I mean, if I gotta work early today, I'll work early. And I'll, I'll meet up with with him and Mr. Weaver if you want, you know, if I find out or see what he says, we'll do it together. 
I'm flexible. Okay. I just want I want Mel's input on that. Me too. Me too. Yeah, the code enforcement officer is here, but we'll find out from him on Friday. Is he going to talk with him on Friday? Yep, I'll pass that on to him. Friday. Okay. He can leave him my number also. All right. Anything else? Comments? You caught up there, Mr. Dunbar? Mm -hmm. Okay. I thought I had Mel's phone number here. Just call him right now? Oh, I was going to call him later. Oh, I got to talk to him <clears> or <throat> anyway. Sure. You got my number, I so. It, so I got, I got his phone. I'm sure I have it somewhere. I, I wrote it down somewhere. I put it down. I, I got it. Okay. Oh, you? Oh, my, thank you. My I'll dog wants to eat things. Right. All right. Bart, you have anything? No. Good. We'll find out about, we'll find out from uh, yeah, our code enforcement in regards to this whole be, that sign be, thing. That would be lovely. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think that's the, that would be the right direction. And I said we've been throwing that line out there and we're not pushing anything <laughs> with it. Let's see what his interpretation is. All right, if anybody doesn't have any, if there aren't any other comments, I make a motion to adjourn. Support. All right, all in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? All right, motion adjourned at 742. Very good.